In the last video we filmed, we talked about the upper arm on the Z, and there's the fucking phone, so... See you guys later. I thought I just fell off the ladder. <laughs> so this car, this Z has the upper arms that uh, are adjustable. And which ones are they, Chris? These are SPL. SPL, so these are the best ones. So Chris is going to show you how to adjust them. Well, Nisbo would be top tier. Whatever, whatever, nerd. He's a nerd. These SPL ones are, are good. And then you wonder why. That wouldn't be on camera. <laughs> What's so good about the Nismo ones? Let's tell the people. Because they're OEM. Because they're OEM? And they have adjustable arms? Yeah, they're adjustable. What, they have the bushings? The uh, SPL ones are designed after the Nismo ones. Stop. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, anyway, this customer is at three degrees of caster, which is, wow, that's really bad. Why is he at three degrees of caster? Camber. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how to read the alignment machine. Um, so he's at five degrees of caster. What and, and what does he want? Three. No, you didn't say. Oh. You're thinking about stock. Oh. They're not dripping. You're trying it. It's at stock. Why are you gonna adjust it? Because we had to put three degrees of camera. Oh. Oh, and now we're gonna do the sweep, and it's gonna be wrong. Yeah. Okay. He wanted to adjust his camber. So that's going to throw off the caster, so we're going to have to go back and adjust the caster. And by we, I mean Chris. And he'll show you how to do Yep. You're tall for this shit. Yeah, you adjust both for... Simultaneously. For camber? Camber and caster. So the best part about these arms is that you can adjust that on the fly. So we don't need to disassemble the wheel <coughs> and... Um, Take everything apart, adjust it, throw it back on, and pretty much hope, hope that it's right. Because if it's not, then we gotta disassemble it again, adjust it again, put it back on. This, these SPL arms, um, you can adjust them from the outside. Very easy to work on. Um, so you, if you have an alignment rack, which you probably don't, or the shop you bring it to, is gonna be very happy with with uh, with these arms. Because the harder of a suspension arm you bring to a shop. One, they might not know how to do it, and two, they might not do it. They might charge you a shit ton of money too if it's if it's uh, a bitch to uh, <clears throat> disassemble everything and adjust it and put it back together. I mean, that's pretty much the benefit to this, right? What SPL one? Yeah. Well, SPL, SPC too. ISR. Actually, I think there's a lot of them. Oh, yeah, so, well, I, we're going to fix this before we post it up, but our last video we mentioned ISR arms did not allow you to adjust them to fly. I think we were wrong, but it, we're, we're probably going to fix that in the last video, too. But, yeah, SPC allows you to do it. Mm -hmm. SPL allows you, but, but SPL is the best one. Now, if you get these arms, you don't want the one where it moves the ball joint. Yeah, he's saying you'd rather pick, yeah, well, well, and the reason for that is you're just adjusting camber then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ones... Damn, we didn't mention that in the last video too, but... Uh, the arms... So it's basically like a Y. And the single part of the Y connects to the ball joint up top. If you get an arm that just adjusts there, which I believe is like a Godspeed, a Megan... Yeah, eBay. eBay. Um, that's just going to adjust camber. If you get an arm that has the two adjustment points on each arm, that's going to adjust caster and camera. So that's a better arm to get in general. But uh, yeah, in order of best to worst, I guess I would say SPL, Nismo. I'm sorry, SP, yeah, SPL, Nismo, um, SPC, and ISR are also adjustable on the fly, it looks like, but they're definitely. Lower quality. GK Tech 2. Wait, it is on the fly? Like, you don't have to disassemble it? Oh. So just stay away from eBay arms, Megan, Racing, Godspeed. Um, any other things? Max Speeding Rods. Max Speeding Rods, if they make these. Uh, yeah, so that's that. This should be, as far as suspension goes, for people that are drifting Zs, this should probably be, you know, one of your... You've gone to a couple track days already. You have the rear arms. You've gotten alignment before, but now you want to add some more camber and you just want to get a little bit more technical with your alignment. This would be the next step to go to after the rear arms. Um, 
and this would probably be the final step, I would say, other than uh, angle modifications to the ball joint, which we talked about in the previous episode too. Um, that would probably be, uh, it probably be as far as suspension goes, unless you want to get completely crazy and get some insane angle kit. FDF, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so right now we're at 5.6 degrees of casting. Okay. Already adjusted to get three degrees of camber. Now we're gonna measure the caster. Basically he's gonna swoop the wheel left to right. Not bad. We're actually uh she might be okay. The caster's pretty even. Might have to adjust this out a little bit. Alright, so show him how you adjust it. Go no, watch me, watch him. Can you see? Mm -hmm. our video I guess see you guys later maybe we'll do an s13 next time bye